are an after school tutoring program. We have children that come from Highland Elementary. Um, we help them with their homework. We um, provide a healthy snack and we try to do some kind of activity normally when our program is, is running. Um, the children get off the bus from Highland and stay here until about 5.30 and during that time we're, you know, just trying to help their lives be a little bit better with homework and just knowing that people care about them. We have some things that extend from that. We do summer programs um, where they can earn to go swimming on Fridays if they come Monday through Thursday and we provide lunches um, all through the summer. So we have not had programming since the shutdown. Uh, we considered having some programming over the summer, but it's just so hot and we couldn't be inside. And um, so over the summer, we basically were one of the outlets where um, families could come and get the lunches provided by EVSC. Uh, we have not had any programming now either. Um, over the summer, through our partnership with the Y, we did pass out food bags once a week in addition to the lunches for the kids. This was a $20, approximately $20 of groceries that we took to 300 homes over the mobile home park. It wasn't just our children that come to this program, it was for people who just live in the whole mobile home park. So we delivered that to them at their doors once a week. Um, all right, so originally I had taught at Cedar Hall, um, which, and then I transferred to Highland, which was where my children went. Uh, and as I taught my first year, I realized that the um, demographics had changed. I had several children in my classroom that year that were living under the poverty level. And um, I knew from my experience at Cedar Hall, all of the the things that are provided to a school like Cedar Hall that our children of poverty at Highland were not getting. We started having meetings with parents. Um, parents told us they weren't letting the kids go out of their trailers because of you know just dangerous neighborhoods. Um, I remember one mother, uh, I remember her crying at the meeting because she said her daughter was only in kindergarten but she already couldn't help her with her, she didn't understand the homework. She already couldn't help her with the stuff that she needed to help her with. I, I was at home after one of those meetings and I was tossing and I was turning and couldn't get to sleep. And I, I, I believe that God told me the idea of, um, he said, just bring a trailer to them. That was during when all the new buildings were being built for schools and God just told me that, you know, get a trailer there and bring it there. School Corporation donated the tra this trailer. Um, we paid them a dollar. We just have a lot of help from different areas. When people hear what we're doing here, we tend to get people that will help us. <laughs> well, St. Peter's has been a huge benefit since you became part of our family. Um, First of all, I think it began with the back to school supplies. Uh, originally, that's how you got involved with us. Um, I believe Brian uh, contacted Highland about wanting to be on, I forget the name of that committee we were on together, but we were on a committee together at Highland. That's how I met him, and then he came to me about, oh, he would love to help you with the back to school supplies, and then you became um, one of our biggest uh, partnerships with the school supplies. And then after that, you had a wonderful fundraiser for us um, for soccer uh, goals and soccer balls. And we had that, that night was one of the neatest memories I have. Um, I remember all of the food that the people made from your church and the, um, oh, the auction was so much fun. That whole night was such a fun evening and filled with love from everybody about helping kids. I, I just hope that everybody hangs in there with us and when this is over we can get back to where we were before and maybe even do more for the families here. And I, I hope that we can even help 
other families that live here besides just the children. And that's been a goal all along, but we kind of got stuck in the children aspect of it because that's what I know. <laughs> but I think that maybe we'll um, try to do more things for some of the other, especially some of the elderly. We got to find a way to help some of the elderly. There's